Hey guys, Michael Shamblum here with another video tutorial. Um, for this tutorial, we are going to go over how to edit the Milky Way using Adobe Lightroom 4. It's going to be a basic tutorial, but it'll give you a good head start on how to edit the Milky Way without going overboard um, while still, you know, getting the Milky Way to really pop and keeping your image clean without any um, digital artifacts or noise. So first what we're going to do is um, go into our develop module in Lightroom 4. Uh, right now I think this is a six image panorama so we have a lot of resolution to work with here. Uh, very high resolution photo. The first thing I usually do is um, go through the sliders and add a little bit of exposure and a little bit of contrast too, just to get the Milky Way to pop. And then I tend to bring down the highlights a little bit and bring up the shadows because we want to see this. This is a lake right here and we want to see that uh, that lake come through. So I tend to bring up the shadows and I also bring up the blacks too because that's going to give us more of that detail in our shadows. I'll bring the whites up as well just to give the image more contrast. And I don't really mess with the clarity slider too much just because you can get some weird ghosting happening in these areas with contrast. I'm also going to bring the vibrance up a little bit, the saturation. So when we zoom in, we see a decent amount of noise. We're going to come in all the way to the bottom and uh, use some noise reduction. I usually use it halfway for the star and ISO I'm using. Uh, for this it's 3200. And then I also bring up the sharpening a little bit too. Okay, so we've made our, our, our big global edit. Now it's time to start getting a little bit more detailed. Uh, we're going to use the brush tool which is up here. Uh, we're going to use the gradient tool as well. I'm going to start off with the gradient tool. And what we're going to do now is basically just mask in more of the foreground. So what we're going to do is we are going to click down where our foreground starts and start to drag the mouse up, not too far. And obviously this is going to be different for any of your images, but um, for this specific image the foreground just needs to be a lot brighter than what it is. So I'm just going to go with the exposure slider and really push the exposure slider up. A little bit of contrast as well. Just because I really want to see that lake, the reflection of, of the stars up off this lake right here. Now I'm noticing I'm probably going to make the image just a little bit more blue. It's sort of a style. I just like the way the the sky looks when it's a little bit more blue than uh, than average, and also a little bit on the uh, magenta side as well. Okay. Now I'm going to use the brush tool and start selecting more of that lake, just different areas that are still pretty dark. Just brush in where I want and then use the exposure slider. I'm not going to push it too far because I know there's a lot of noise in this area. And I'm also going to push down this exposure on the mountain using the same brush tool except right now I'm going to take the exposure slider and bring it down. There we go. Alright, so that's not looking too bad. Uh, I think we need more uh, contrast and also a lot more pop to our Milky Way. So what I'm going to do right now is take that brush slider again, or the, uh, the brush tool, and just brush in where the Milky Way is. You don't have to be too careful with it. Um, 
then I'm going to bring that clarity slider and push that all the way, or pretty close to all the way. Maybe brighten it a little bit as well. All right. So that's actually a pretty good Milky Way. It's popping pretty nicely. Um, I'm not really too happy with the colors. I'm going to push this back a little bit. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get the sky to blend in a little bit more. Um, we have a lot of patches of color coming through right now, and I think it'd be nice to even those out a little bit. Uh, let's use the brush tool again. And this time we're going to bring in a color. And I'm going to bring in a slight kind of blue in between uh, the cyan and the heavy blue. Because I think that's the color of our sky right now. And I'm going to go in and just sort of brush this in. And when you do it, it might be too much. It might be overdone. But the cool thing about this is you can always tone it back. So that's a little too heavy, so I'm going to go more towards gray with it. And that kind of masked in some of the, uh, you know, some of the patches to make the image a little bit more magenta. And I'm going to use our brush tool again, and I. And the cool thing about this brush tool or the gradient tool is you can always click on previous brushes that you've already made. So I remember we made this one for just the Milky Way. And I'm starting to think I want a little bit more contrast in the Milky Way. So I'm just going to push the slider up. Cool. Yep, that's enough pop. So yeah, this is a... Uh, a quick edit. Um, you know, you can obviously go a lot further with this. You can, you know, really go in with these sliders and push everything pretty far. Um, you know, and get some interesting effects. But uh, for this, you know, for the tutorial sake, I didn't want to push anything too far. Um, just basically showing you guys the tools that I use in Lightroom. Um, I'm also going to be showing a Photoshop tutorial coming up soon, which will get a lot more advanced into how to you know color correct your images and how to really go into the Milky Way and accentuate it a lot more uh, than before but basically here is our before and after so here's our image that we captured out of camera and here's the very very quick edit we've made in Lightroom Thanks guys for watching, please visit my website for more and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, thank you so much.